Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to Camlet for episode 2. Today we are working outside the castle because last episode we actually managed to finish the entire castle in one episode which is great. Thank you so much for all the feedback. It seems like everyone was as inspired and stoked as I am for this project here. A lot of people said that they were inspired by this build and that they enjoyed the concept. And hopefully together we can bring Camlet to... Uh, to a nice looking place. Today we are working on the outside as I've said. We are adding a couple of small houses in a little hamlet surrounding it. Also doing a little bit of a wall outside that to make it look pretty cool. Uh, and then we are um, yeah, just adding some ground and stuff like that. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to hit that like button. It is the best way of showing support to what I do. And if you want to support me on Patreon, the link is down below. But that is only if you really want to support me on the next level. Uh, the buildings we're doing today is a blacksmith, a tavern, slash inn, and a bakery. And next episode, we're going to continue working probably with uh, some other houses that um, will be inside the main hamlet here. And then we're going to also build a little bit of a market, I think. And then, of course, we're going to do a lot of farmlands around this to tie it all nicely together. But let me finish this off. I'll take you through a first person point of view. We're going to start with an aerial view from this place. I'm loving the way that Camlet is shaping up right now with the castle, the unique castle in the back and then a small cute villager houses stuff in the front here. But I also want to just let you know guys that if you are interested in the lore behind Camlet, uh, the last episode I asked you guys for suggestions, I've taken all of your suggestions into account and then created a, like a merging of all of those and create a very fantastic lore for Kalmlet. It is in my Discord, uh, so go down, follow the links into my Discord, join there if you haven't and, and read about the lore of Kalmlet in the Kalmlet chat, it should be pinned out, down there. And you can also see it in the lore documents, uh, which is also available in the lore uh, chat in my Discord. But anyway, we're starting off over here. And I gotta say, I, I'm digging this. I'm digging this so much. I'm very happy with how this is turning out. Um, I'm not entirely sure about this one though. So I would love to get you some feedback uh, on this, guys. If you have any ideas for how we could do this just like a little bit better. Uh, the idea is that it is like a simple gatehouse thing uh, it's not gonna be like the big ones for Krasberg it's just like you have a few people here guarding the place uh, also let me adjust the FOV here uh, so if you have any ideas on how we can improve this because right now it looks a little weird I might just remove one of the towers and just have like a single one but please guys let me give me some feedback on that and um, we'll see how we can make that look even better but let's start from here uh, so the first thing you'll notice is I've done a lot of layering here. That takes a lot of time, but man, does it make it look good. Uh, look at all these layers leading up here. It almost looks like a different kind of game. It is so cool. And it's leading up to the castle here. We have this little um, thing here. So it almost looks like a, um, a Mutton Bailey castle thing. Where you have the, the castle on this little mutt here. And then we have a little bailey in the front. And then it's connected with this little pathway here. Uh, I added a little statue here as well in between. I just think that's a cool thing to... Um, I don't know, it could be the Lord of Camelot uh, and... or it could be someone else. It could be a god, who knows. But uh, it looks kind of cool. Just overlooking there. Uh, and then we have of, of course, yeah, speaking English. Yeah, it's been a while since I uh, made a video, guys. <laughs> I've been enjoying the beautiful weather, so my English might be a little bit rusty, but let's give it a shot. Um, we have the houses here, and they are awesome, I think. Very simple, small houses, uh, kind of the same style as the castle. Of course, less uh, detail, less royal looking. Uh, so let we, let's start with this one. Uh, shall we start with the blacksmith? So, a uh, little yellow building right here. Uh, basically, the first floor is just like the normal house thing. Uh, so we have a kitchen in here uh, to prepare some food, a little area to sit, uh, and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. Nice little window here looking out. And then this then takes you up to the second floor where we have some storage, a sitting area, uh, and then a little area to sleep. Uh, the children would just sleep on some hay here, uh, but the, par the parents have like a bigger actual bed. It's a cool way of 
uh, I don't know, making it feel poorer than the rich houses, alright? Uh, so that's that one. Uh, if we go back and through here, we have a little bit of a pantry in here. Just some food and stuff like that being stored. And um, yeah, you know. Uh, if we go out here and back around, the blacksmith is kind of in the back. We go through this little wall here, and I'm digging this one. I don't know, these kind of details, that's what kind of gets me. And that's what I'm used to spending most of the time on, it's these small things. But I think it turned out great. Uh, and also, yeah, we have a basement here, kind of, um, since we were kind of building it on a slope here. There's a little bit of a basement here. Uh, again, just like a pantry storage area, we have some barrels, maybe for some ale, um, potatoes, onions, herbs, and stuff. So that's kind of nice. Uh, but in the back here, we have the blacksmith, and I think this looks kind of cool. Uh, we have this uh, big chimney thingy, where, uh, of course, you, you do the smithing thing. Uh, and then we have an anvil on the side here. So uh, I think that works, I think it's kind of cool. And then on the side here, we have this... A little shed where you could also work. We have some chains hanging here um, Because that's a part of the job. We have an anvil here and also like a barrel of oil That's very common if you're making like steel and stuff you dip the, the sword or the tool in uh, oil to make it harder um, So yeah, just a cool little shed in the backyard and I just like the Overall backyard area here which ties in with this one which is the tavern so we're going to check that out next we go around here uh, and then uh, we have this building right here it's nice and white same color as the um, the main castle there and uh, it's just a simple building and if we go around here and inside we have like a little lobby area where um, you be greeted you could uh, write yourself in on the book um, and if you need a room, or you can just go into the, the tavern here and just sit here, meet some friends, enjoy some cold drinks. I don't know how cold it would be, but you know. And just chill here. And um, yeah, it's definitely a cozy place. It would be the the hub of the, of the city here, or the village of Hamlet here, just to come in here and just, yeah, spend the night. In the back here, we have a little uh, storage for wine, which uh, is very important in a build like this. And then we have a little kitchen in the back. So that's kind of cool. Uh, this leads out to the back alley here, which again is where the blacksmith is. Uh, we have some clothes. You could definitely dry and wash your clothes here if you're traveling, just passing by. That's very often how uh, inns were used. People were traveling maybe from Krasberg uh, to Asa, uh, two different cities on the map here. And they would just stop here for the night, uh, wash some clothes and sleep over. Um, so that's kind of cool as well. Then we have just some storage here and we have a, a trough for water for the horses and an area to tie them up in the back as well here. And it all kind of runs around here so the people coming in would come in with their horses, walk them over here, tie them up and then go into the main entrance. Uh, but in the back here is also this uh, outhouse uh, for the guests and the family running this. So yeah. That is pretty much the outside of this one. As you can see, it's also built on a slightly angular uh, grid here, uh, just to, to add some variation to the city here. Or the village is not really a city, it's way too small. Uh, but yeah, uh, if we go around here, the circus going up, uh, there's more sitting areas over here, and then we have some rooms. Uh, this is a very small inn, so the rooms are shared. So there's two beds, you could rent one of them, and just sleep with another guy here. But that's uh, kind of nice uh, and same goes for here just two small beds uh, and that's kind of all you're renting here so it's kind of nice uh, in here though we have uh, the family running the business uh, or this is where they sleep so we have two beds and then a double bed for um, the parents here and uh, just a sitting area and some clothes and stuff so basically they would just kind of live here use the kitchen and stuff like that to make it run and then um, just spend the night in their own little apartment separated from the rest so yeah I think that's kind of cool creates a little bit of lore and uh, definitely makes it look or feel alive in a way whoops the, the last building for today is the bakery and this is built on a 45 degree angle. It's pink, but it still kind of fits with the place. It's kind of just a stucco uh, thingy with stone and it's kind of cool. And uh, it's not a touch roof as same uh, as a blacksmith here. So yeah, let's go inside. 
the bakery is pretty big, so we have like a lot of cabinets and tables and areas to make the, the breads and stuff. And then of course there's a big oven to, to heat up all of the breads, or bake the breads, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, I like that. It, it's kind of tricky doing this on a diagonal, but uh, I like a challenge, you know me. Uh, in the back here we had a family room, we have another uh, fireplace to create some more food, a little bit of a kitchen kind of along this wall here. A uh, little sitting area, dining area for the family. And just some storage around here, I think it's kind of cool. Uh, and then in here we have a little pantry with some storage, potatoes, uh, spices, you know, all the things. And then we can go up here and we get to the upper floor where the family sleeps. And here we just have like a big hay mat to sleep on. And it's kind of smelly, but it, it's just, as you know, it, it creates a cool like poorer vibe. And I really want to have a big contrast in between the village and the castle of Camelot itself. So that's kind of nice. Uh, and I think just having some like clothes and stuff being hang hung up here uh, makes you feel alive in a way. Uh, guys, you can come on the server and check it out for yourself. Warp Camelot. Uh, I'm going to try to put that in the description if you're interested. Uh, so you can check out all of this for yourself. And there's one final thing I want to show you. This is... Um, the basement as well. This is again built in a slope, so and we have a little area just to have some grain stored up here and some spices and wheat and you know some bakeries and stuff. So it's kind of just below the building here. So kind of cool. I love building in slopes. It creates a very cool opportunity to have these smaller basements and cooler uh, layouts of the building. So yeah, I think it's cool. Overall, I'm very happy with all the like atmosphere I've added with the carts, the bushes, um, crates around, these little birdhouses, the chickens running around for eggs and yeah, I think it's really common alive. But guys, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed, make sure to smack the like button and if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Viggo Man and I'm out.